I think the main conclusions from the seminar today are that we have to be more creative, more determined in finding solutions to the problems that are identified in the most recent issue of the CIPRI yearbook. Uh, we have noticed in the last two years, unfortunately, a break point um, in a, after a long period where we've had essentially positive tendencies in international peace and security uh, in a more negative direction. And so we have to be consistent, um, determined, and creative in looking for solutions. I think one of the clear messages when it comes to managing the main challenges in, in global conflict is actually to look once again at the role of the state as a security provider. Uh, states are still the main building block of the international system. Uh, but we see that their role is increasingly challenged, uh, not only internationally, but in managing um, activities on their own sovereign territory. So to reconsider the role of the state as an effective security actor and how it can deliver what its citizens expect uh, in the face of existing challenges is one of the really central questions that we need to focus on. Well, next year we'll have our, our 50th anniversary at CIPRI. Um, and we really see this as an opportunity to look forward. Of course, we're very proud of the Institute and what it's achieved. Uh, we're very proud of the fact that we're highly regarded um, internationally as one of the leading think tanks in the world. But really, we need to use this as an opportunity to look forward, hopefully, to the next 50 years. Um, what is it that we can hope to accomplish? What is it that we should be focusing on? What are the really key issues and important tendencies that should inform our, our work and our research. So we'll try to use our 50, um, 50th year anniversary as a forward-looking exercise uh, where we can try to come up with a new agenda equally exciting um, as that which we worked on in the past.